Hi, I'm your host Gemma and welcome to another exciting episode from Marvelous Videos. Today I'll be taking you through The Runaways, a wacky superhero group explored. There is an abundance of superhero teams in the Marvel universes, ranging from the Avengers to the X-Men to the Fantastic Four. Among these hordes of superhero teams, the Runaways are a lesser known group of wacky superheroes. Created by Brian Vaughan and Adrian Alpona, the Runaways were first introduced in a comic book series in 2003 and later even had their own show in 2017. This group consisted of six kids with superpowers who came together to fight crime after discovering that their parents were criminals. Today, we will explore this team's origins and tell you everything there is to know about the Runaways. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. The Origins of the Misfit and Unlikely Team The Runaways creation can be traced back to the supernatural entity known as the Giborim, who needed mortal servants on Earth. Giborim summoned six married couples and offered them unlimited power in exchange for sacrificing human souls to him. These couples came together to form the Pride and they ruled the crime scene in Los Angeles. The Giborim granted them wealth and power and even promised them that six of the most faithful people in this group would be allowed to rule the heavens in the future. Though the couples worked together initially, they later started making plans to betray one another in order to make sure that they are among the six people who are granted heaven. The Gibberin also laid down the condition of human sacrifice and the pride would gather annually under the disguise of a charity event to sacrifice an innocent soul to the Gibberin. They performed a rite of blood to kill their victim and then feed its spirit to the Gibberin during the rite of thunder. After a few years, one of the members of the Pride, Janet Stein, realized that she was pregnant. This unexpected pregnancy led all Pride members to decide that they must all have one child of their own so that they could pass on the powers bestowed on them by Gibberim to their children. These children were named Alex Winder, Nico Minru, Chase Stein, Gertrude Yorks, Carolina Dean, and Molly Hayes. They were unaware of their parents' deal with Gibberim, but Alex accidentally witnessed one of their ritualistic sacrifices during the annual gathering. He then started snooping around and discovered information about the Pride. He also learned that the Dean and Hayes couples had plans to betray the group and murder each other. Alex came up with a plan and waited until next year to gather the other children. He then intentionally led Nico, Chase and Gertrude to the room where they witnessed their parents preparing to murder a young woman named Destiny Gonzalez during the Rite of Blood ritual. In the meantime, Molly Hayes and Carolina Dean waited upstairs while the others witnessed the ritual. The children later met at the Griffith Observatory where everyone except Molly was present. They decided to frame their parents for the murders and first went to the York's household. Here, they came across a dinosaur who apparently had a telepathic link to Gertrude. Slowly but surely, the kids realized their own powers. They even come across a book called The Abstract, which had six copies handed to each couple working in the Pride. The Abstract contained information on Gibberim, the past and future activities of the Pride, as well as various ritual spells. However, it needed a decoder, ring of the abstract, in order to decipher these texts. The children then visited the Dean household, where they realized that Carolina is actually an alien. Slowly, they visited each of their houses, and their next stop was Chase Stein's house. They visited Chase's father's workshop and stole some of his equipment, such as x-ray specs and high-tech gauntlets known as Fitstigans. They even got their hands on the magical Staff of One. Finally, the group visited Molly Hayes' house, where Alex got his hands on the Ring of the Abstract. They rescue Molly from the house, and the parents finally realise that they need to do something about their children. The Pride then framed their children for murdering Destiny Gonzalez and even accused them of kidnapping the young Molly Hayes. The group then find themselves in trouble 
and Chase leads them to his hostel, which is actually a mansion that was buried during an earthquake. The runaways decide to lie low for a while and only step out for a food run. However, they witness a store robbery during one of their food runs and also meet Topher. They try to recruit him and brought him back to their hostel where Topher finally reveals his true identity as a vampire. He lunges into attack on Nico, but Carolina steps up and asks Topher to attack her instead. Since Carolina is an alien, her blood is infused with solar energy, which leads to the instant death of the vampire. In the meantime, Lieutenant Flores, along with Cloak and Dagger, looks for the children. However, the Pride does not want Cloak and Dagger to be involved. Cloak and Dagger then run into the runaways, who tell them the truth about their parents. The duo promises to contact the Avengers to look into this, while Alex informs his parents and the Pride that Cloak and Dagger are onto them. The Pride then corners the duo and gets rid of all their memories related to this case. Alex then even tips off the police about their location and the runaways run away while the hostel starts collapsing. Finally, the runaways go to the Marine Vivarium, an underwater place where the Pride carry out the Rite of Thunder. Here, they disrupt their parents' plans and Alex finally reveals that he has been secretly working for their parents and tipping them off. Nico and Alex get into a fight, which ends when Molly destroys the container where their parents held Destiny Gonzalez. The Gibberim then kills Alex and Chase helps the other runaways escape the place in the Leapfrog vehicle. The fiasco also results in the deaths of all the members of the Pride and the Marine Vivarium also collapses subsequently. After being orphaned, the runaways who now consisted of Chase, Nico, Carolina, Molly and Gertrude were put under the care of social services. The social services separated the groups, but Carolina organized a reunion at the Griffith Observatory after a few months. They were all fed up with their living conditions and decided to steal the leapfrog vehicle and run away together. They also rescued Old Lace, the dinosaur who had a telepathic link with Gertrude. Finally, the runaways settled in one of the Pride's old dens beneath the La Brita pits. They worked together to fight crime in Los Angeles and became a team of superheroes. On these missions, three new members joined the Runaways. These recruits included Victor Manchar, Clara Prast and Zaven. Exploring the individual members of the superhero team. The original Runaways team consisted of six members, but many new recruits later joined them. Alex Winder, son of the Mafia bosses, was the first leader of the group and he was quite a child prodigy. He was also the one to uncover the secret identities of their parents in the beginning. Though he worked with the Runaways initially, he always had his own strategy and later on he betrayed the group by revealing their plans to his parents. He also dies quite early on in the story, but later reappears as a living corpse. Nico Minoru, also known as the Gloom, was the daughter of the the Minoris that worked in the Pride. Giborim gave the Minoris wizard-like abilities and Nico had also inherited these dark powers. She was essentially a witch and could manipulate magic. Nico acts as a leader of the group after Alex betrays them and leaves the team. Whenever Nico was injured and started bleeding, a powerful staff known as the Staff of One emerged from her chest and gave her the ability to bend magic. She also has the ability to perform telekinesis, teleport and even fly. Carolina Dean, formerly known as Lucy in the Sky, was the daughter of two alien invaders working for Giborim. After joining the Runaways, she took the name Princess Justice. Carolina was actually an alien powered by solar energy and was also known as Majestanian. In the Majestanian form, Carolina could manipulate solar energy in her body and use this energy to blast laser beams. She also has the ability to fly in this form. However, her Majestanian powers are finite and she cannot stay in this form for too long. Upon running out of power, Carolina returns to her human form and uses the sun's rays to recharge her energy. Molly Hayes belonged to a family of mutants and her parents had telepathic abilities. Molly was the youngest member of the Runaways team and was also known as Bruiser or Princess Powerful. Molly had supernatural powers 
that included super strength and invulnerability to any attacks and she was known as Blue Jay. Chase Stein, also known as Gun Arm, was the son of mad scientists. Chase was the oldest member of the Runaways and often performed various roles within the group. He possesses the powerful Fitster gun, Gauntlets, that he stole from his father's workshop along with the other Runaways. Chase also drove their vehicle Leapfrog, which was originally designed by Chase's parents and was his mother's idea. Finally, Gertrude Yorks was the sixth member of the original Runaways. Gertrude's parents were time travelers. And though Gertrude did not inherit any time traveling powers, she was pretty intelligent. Gertrude was the book smart, witty character in the series and was also known as Arsenic. She had formed a telepathic connection with a genetically engineered dinosaur called Old Lace. However, Gertrude later on dies in the comics and passes this telepathic link to Chase, who then has the ability to connect with Old Lace. Gertrude was later resurrected after a few comic volumes and returned to the Runaways team. Victor Mancha was a cyborg who could manipulate energy and metal and was one of the group's newer members. However, he later left the group to join the Avengers AI. Other new recruits included Zavin, a son of the Skrull warlords who had the ability to shape shift, and Clara Prast, who was a Swiss immigrant that had the ability to control the growth of plants. <laughs> A TV series was put together after the movie was cancelled. Marvel had initially planned to release a movie based on The Runaways, but they soon changed course after the wide success of Avengers. Later on, they developed a television series that followed this team of superheroes, and this series first aired on November 21st, 2017. The show lasted three seasons until December 2019 and aired on Hula streaming services. Renzi Feliz played the role of Alex Winder, while Lyrica Okanu portrayed Nico Minoru, and Virginia Gardner played the role of Carolina Dean, among other cast members. The first season focused on the Runaways discovering their parents' secret identities as they discover the Pride. The Runaways then investigate these secrets. At the same time, their parents start to get suspicious of their kids. Finally, the first season ended with the Runaways coming together to form a plan to put an end to their parents' crimes. In the following season, the Runaways learned to navigate the world independently. They sought shelter, food and clothing on their own while also ensuring the police or their parents didn't discover them. They got a lot closer and realised they only have each other to fall back on. They finally execute their plan to take the pride down, but their plan seems to be going astray. A mole in the group reveals their plans to Jonah, also known as the Magistrate. Jonah is also Carolina's father and is actually a Giborim in disguise on the earth. The Runaways make a plan to destroy the pride while their parents try to track them down and put an end to their plans. Finally, the third season of the show focused on the Runaways' efforts to free Chase, Gertrude and Carolina after they were captured by evil forces. The Runaways also faced a new enemy who is later revealed to be the Magistrate's son. This new enemy is after Carolina's mother, Leslie Dean, in order to get his hands on her unborn child and this team of young heroes helps Leslie escape him. The Runaways, led by Nico Minoru, also find themselves in a dark realm ruled by Morgan Lee Fay and fight their most brutal battle yet. The show's premises were mostly based on the comics, with a few minor tweaks in the storyline here and there. The show keeps up a decent pace throughout, but some viewers held the opinion that it could have been wrapped up in two seasons. It does have a compelling storyline, and the elements of ritualistic sacrifices and superpowers and evil organisations altogether create an entertaining television series. Conclusion To sum it up, 
The Runaways are a fierce group of superheroes who have fought against all odds and stuck by each other's side as they faced many crises right from their childhood. They have fought against all odds to succeed in their missions and have a lot of potential that will hopefully be explored in their future story arcs. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.